Key and Clex takeaways for phosphorus. Do you remember when we learned how ATP is the compound that provides energy to our cells? Well, the P in ATP is phosphorus, adenosine triphosphate. So phosphate plays a huge role in energy production for our body. Keep in mind that phosphorus and calcium have an inverse relationship. So if you have a high phosphorus level, you're going to be seeing a low calcium level and vice versa. Math got you down? Well, it brings phosphorus down too. All of these things will reduce our phosphorus levels. Remember, increased parathyroid hormone will cause an increased calcium, thereby decreasing our phosphate levels, causing hypophosphatemia. When tumor cells are broken down, they release the phosphate from the cell membranes into the bloodstream, causing hyperphosphatemia. Other causes are renal failure, excessive intake, or hypoparathyroidism. We use phosphate binders like calcium carbonate to bring high phosphorus levels down. If you want to bring phosphorus up, try a diet rich in meat, dairy, nuts, beans, and grains that are all packed full of phosphorus. If you need any more tips on food and electrolytes, join us in a small group session on archerreview.com.